So the key to a great text prompt is to make sure that the phrases and the keywords you're using are as accurate as possible for the image you're trying to produce, right? So um, you might be thinking of an impressionist painting, and if you put in the word pointillist or pointillism, uh, you might get out the wrong thing. So, you know, there are lots of sites where you can go and um, look up all the styles of famous artists and maybe see an image produced through some of these tools using those prompts. Um, there are lots of tricks out there that you can go and read blogs about, but sometimes you just have a really great image and you're like, I want to know what what phrase I can use to get an image like this or what other, you know, I've got this image, I don't know the artist's name and I want to figure out like, what does Clip know about this? So we're going to look at a tool now um, that, that does that for us. It's called Clip Interrogator. So first off, we'll look at how to use the web GUI and then we'll go ahead and jump into Hugging Face Spaces to do that. So uh, first off, in the web GUI, you need to switch into the image to image tag. So you'll see here, uh, there's text image and there's image to image. So go ahead and select that. Next, we need to upload an image. So I have an image here um, that is a like thin slice, you know, micro photogram kind of thing, uh, micro photograph. So I want to like figure out like what style can I enter in to get something like this out. So we'll go ahead and we'll just upload this by dragging it into image to image, and then we'll come over here and we'll hit interrogate clip. Now it's going to load. I'm on a T4. I'm using the really slow version of Collab right now, so it is going to be slow. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds to run. When I'm done, I should get back a prompt. Now you could use this prompt anywhere. You could then move it into text image and just generate a brand new image. Maybe we'll look at doing that in just a second. Um, so here you go. Oh, that ran a little bit fast this time. A close-up of a bunch of leaves on a surface of dirt and dirt with white and brown patches by Henrik van Steenwick the first, I assume is what that is. So let's go ahead and see if this actually works. So if we grab this text, come back to text image and we'll paste it in here as our prompt. And let's turn up our slamping steps to about 50. We'll leave Euler A in, we'll leave it at 512. We'll leave batch count here and we'll leave the config there and we'll use a random seed. So go ahead and hit generate. And let's just see what we get back. Now, I can sort of tell you, like, I'm not entirely sure that a close-up of a bunch of leaves on uh, a surface of dirt is going to be the same thing. But let's see. Um, let's see how accurate this is. There you go. So uh, the image I got back is clearly not that. So this isn't perfect. Uh, and maybe because I'm using a really abstract image, it doesn't really actually know a great example here. So maybe I would want to go and, I don't know, find, a, find an image of an artist. Uh, we could try something like, let me actually do this. Let's just find an image of Picasso. So go ahead and grab this. Save it to our desktop and let's come back to Stable Diffusion and we'll go ahead and drag in this image in here. Okay, maybe we have to refresh. Just do that real quick. Okay, so now we can go ahead and run interrogate clip again. And my hope is that maybe it's going to mention Picasso, right? So like, some of these tools are a little wild and some of you don't always get back exactly what you want. A painting of a woman with a dog on her head, okay, and a blue background with a white rectangle, fair enough by Pablo Picasso. So Clip does, is able to say like, hey, I bet this is a Picasso painting. So again, if we take this, we put this back in a text image, I bet we're gonna get something very different, but let's see. So here we go. Um, I got a Picasso-ish thing. I got some boobs with some nipples, so I hope YouTube doesn't demonetize me. Um, and I got a dog. Uh, not our head, but in the image. So um, again, an interesting part of these tools is that they're not necessarily like, you know, one to one. They won't always give you the best result back, but you can see here that it does sort of like begin to guide us in the right direction. So again, there is this version inside of the web GUI. There's also a hugging face. Uh, so I might recommend that you do that because it's a little bit faster um, or it's a little bit easier than setting up web GUI. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. If you just want to like, run through a bunch of images and sort of see what happens. Maybe that's a good way to, to use this. 
maybe grab a bunch of different phrases. Um, if you are already in your web GUI, you might as well just use it there. So I'm going to go ahead and run this on, oh, I ran this one. So you'll see here that my prompt is, or like my output is actually different. So when I run this using the interrogate clip, I always get back the same prompt inside of uh, the web GUI. I don't know if it's using an older version of clip interrogator or what's going on. Um, yeah, so you'll see I get back the same prompt. I get a different prompt using this. So maybe let's try this prompt. So this one is a little bit longer. Let's go back to uh, text image and let's paste this one in. I wonder what A-C-E-S-C-G is. Cool. So that's actually much better. So I don't know, maybe I actually want to run this again. I want to see if I get different outputs every time I run this or if it's always the same. Um, so yeah, so, so far I would say maybe this is a better, uh, prompting tool. I'm also set my seed to random. Uh, so who knows if, you know, if I run this with different random images, I'll get different results. But I do think just looking at this prompt, I think this is probably a better version of what I really want. This isn't fast by any means either. You know, the other one, I mean, they're both running on T4s, right? So this is slow, but at least it's, or this is slow, but it's slow on my dime. Whereas a uh, hugging face is slow, but it's slow on someone else's dime. So maybe it's a little bit easier to use this if you want to just sort of experiment and try different things. Give this another 10 seconds or so. Okay, so this did return the exact same phrase. So it seems like it is deterministic. So no matter what, if I upload the same image, I'm going to get back the same prompt every time. Um, so that's kind of helpful to know. Uh, it means maybe I want to find 10 or 15 of these images, upload all of them one by one, and see if like I see a bunch of phrases that sort of appear multiple times. That might give me some indication that like those phrases are important to these sort of image types. Now let's go ahead and upload our Picasso and just see what this version of Clip Interrogator gives us with this. Um, pharma, which is, I believe it's Pharma Psychotic, I think is, uh, yeah, Pharma Psychotic. Um, they have some really interesting tools. Uh, I think they have other ones on their GitHub. Um, but I've always sort of appreciated following some of their work. So I'd be interested to see what, what is Stable Diffusion Prism. Sends an image to Clip Interrogator to generate a text prompt, which is then run through Stable, generation, stable Diffusion to generate new forms of the original. This is exactly what we just did. So this is one click. Uh, we'll do that for you. So actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab this one. And we'll say feed in your image. And when this is done, we'll come back and diffuse it. Uh, okay, so my clip interrogator for my Picasso image came back with a painting of a woman with a hat on, a Cubist painting, by Pablo Picasso, and then a bunch of other stuff. So fairly similar, but let's see what we get. Like the female Giga Chad showed up in here. Um, so let's drop this one in and see what we get out of Stable Fusion. And there you go. Another sort of Picasso-y image, but it definitely is not the same era of Picasso, right? Like Picasso had many different styles of images. So it's kind of interesting to see that you get back different, you, know, you definitely get back a different era than maybe this image is. So again, um, you know, not perfect, but I think it's kind of interesting. And obviously I could randomize my seed here uh, and try it again and again and see if I finally do get to a Picasso that is the version I want. Um, maybe it is also going to give me back, you know, some of his black and white drawings. Doesn't seem like it. So, okay, anyway, interesting idea. Um, so let's go back over here. So we fed in our image. We're still waiting on our diffusion. So stable diffusion prism, that's pretty cool. I like this as a tool. Let's see if there's a collab of this. What is glass prism? Hmm, interesting. Okay, cool. Um, so let's see, it's still running. Damn, slow.
Well, if this lasts any longer, we can just stop it. But essentially, uh, it's the same process that we just went through. Um, so again, I think you can also undo. Yeah, so let's run this again and see how many different images we get. So there we go, we get very sandy, just nothing. I'd be really interested if we just remove a bunch of this and maybe just keep just the initial phrases. What we get there. Let's try... Let's try, you know, you also add in phrases you know. Um, and see if that does anything for you. Okay, well that generates. Let's check on our prism here. Yep, so we got back the same text prompt, and if we hit diffuse it, we'll probably just get back the, a, a similar image what we're already generating. I'm just adding in little pieces of like where I grabbed this image from to sort of see if this is doing anything for me. All right, so something. So again, not perfect, but I think, you know, again, if we were to actually maybe grab a batch of images uh, and run it all through the same one by one, we might begin to see phrases of images that, that are similar. Um, and I think that's where you begin to sort of see like, oh, this is how Clip quote unquote thinks. And that might then provide a little bit more context for you to begin to generate better prompts. So this plus waiting plus, you know, the order of your images, the order of your of your phrasing and keywords might all matter. So um, I think it's a cool little tool that begins to help you think a little bit more like the machine does. Um, and it gives you an opportunity to sort of uh, discover a little bit how your own images being uploaded might affect uh, clip. And then it gives you some direction on, on how to do prompts. Let's see, did this finish? Okay, cool. So we got some images back. Um, interesting, I got the same sort of like pebbly looking image from that first time. Although I think actually this image is actually closer to what I would want, maybe just this part. Um, so, you know, again, maybe just a bunch of random, uh, if I made 15 versions or 100 versions of this image, I might get back something that's interesting and more along the lines of what I want. So that's Clip Interrogator. I think it's a cool tool, uh, definitely worth investigating. There's probably more of these that are going to be popping up as we go through uh, this tool. So um, definitely keep an eye out for more stuff like this. All right, so hopefully you enjoy Clip Interrogator.